This is Tibet, the roof of the world. A country steeped in tradition and a people deeply influenced by Buddhism. A strong sense of compassion has formed the basis of their non-violent struggle for freedom. A freedom struggle that began when the People's Republic of China carried out their peaceful liberation of Tibet. For the Tibetans, it has been anything but. Today, what the world knows as Tibet is, in fact, the Tibet Autonomous Region, an area only half the size of what was Tibet before the Chinese occupation. After the occupation, the borders of Tibet were redrawn and the provinces of Amdo and Kham were deleted from the map. They are now known as the Chinese provinces of Qinghai and Shizhuang. This story of Tibet begins with a boy, born into a peasant family in northeastern Tibet in 1935. Only two years old, he was recognized as the reincarnation of his predecessor, the 13th Dalai Lama. As the spiritual and political leader of the Tibetan people, the institution of the Dalai Lama is entrenched deep in Tibet's history. The current Dalai Lama is regarded as the embodiment of the Buddha of compassion, an enlightened being who has chosen to take rebirth in order to serve humanity. As a teenager, he faced his biggest challenge as leader of Tibet, the Chinese occupation. Uh, Tibet, under the Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama's government, uh, no Chinese influence, no Chinese control, no Chinese office in Hassan. When I was there. Ngamatje Around 8-9,000 Tibetan army already crashed. Then, Chairman Mo preferred Chinese Liberation Army. Stop at Chamdo. Chinese government preferred Tibet peaceful liberation. So, 1951, 17-point agreement signed. 